This is a fairly common uh, college entrance test type question. So we're asked to find the area shaded in orange, this segment here, given that the green triangle is an inscribed isosceles right triangle, triangle, inscribed meaning that the three edges of the triangle all touch the circle, and the hypotenuse passes through the centre of the circle here, and the blue circle has a radius of five centimetres. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at uh, what our plan is. Well, clearly we're going to need to find the area of the circle and the area of the triangle, and then take them away, uh, and that we should be able to work out what the area of the segment is. So let's have a look at the isosceles right triangle first, because that's the, the most important bit. So here's the isosceles right triangle. Uh, as it's a right triangle, we know that that is a right angle. We know, therefore, that these two angles are 45 because the sum of the angles in the triangle is 180. Um, now, we know that this distance here is 10 because that is the diameter of the circle, and we're told that the isosceles triangle goes through the center of the circle. So this here is 10. Um, so we can work out the, uh, the length of these two sides by Pythagoras. So we know that 10 squared equals a squared add a squared i.e. Uh, 2a squared equals 100, so a equals the square root of 50, and we're going to need that in a minute. Okay, so basically we, um, more importantly, if we now draw a line um, through this triangle like that, we can see that because it's isosceles and a right triangle and the angles are the same, that this is congruent to this. So if we now do exactly the same through here, we know that this is congruent to this, and therefore this segment here is identical to this segment here. And now we can solve the, the equation and, and, and work out what the area of the segment is. So what we need to do is work out the area of the triangle, uh, area of the circle. Then we're going to half it because we're only dealing with this semicircle here. Then we're going to take away the area of the triangle, and then we're going to divide by two because we only want the area of one of the segments. So the area of the uh, circle is easy, pi times 5 squared, which is 25 pi centimetres squared. So the area of the semicircle is half that, that's 25 pi over 2 centimetres squared. The area of the triangle, uh, the isosceles right triangle, is base times perpendicular height divided by 2, which is a squared over 2, which is 50 over 2, which is... 25 centimeters squared. So now all we need to do is the area of the two segments is equal to the area of the semicircle, take away the area of the triangle, um, which equals the area of the semicircle is 25 pi over 2, and the area of the triangle is 25. So therefore, the area of the orange segment is half that which is 25 pi over 2 minus 25, a half of that. Or if we, like, we can take the 25 out, 25 over 2 pi over 2 minus 1 centimetres squared.